Hi guys, this is Max and in this video I want to talk about the Scatter Balloon, the new artifact weapon of the Bandits Druid. And yeah, some general points. Um, for your artifact weapon you have to grind artifact power. You will get this from items dropping all over the Legion content. And when you use them you will get uh, the power to skill this weapon out. Um, the starting point is a new moon here. And from this point on you have to go through your artifact weapon and there are some lines uh, which are connecting the talents and you can't uh, go from new moon to the point here in the bottom um, because <laughs> they don't want us to. So you have to go the way uh, over the lines and um, yeah. I want to tell you uh, the best way to skill your artifact weapon and it will also give you some uh, additional informations about uh, the artifact relics which you can see here after I told you about the way to skill. So let's jump into it. Into it. The starting point in your artifact weapon is New Moon. New Moon will lead you to the next cast called uh, Half Moon when you finish it and Half Moon will lead you to Full Moon. Uh, this is the new class fantasy of Blizzard and this spell is really important because it's will generate so much astro power for you that it's really necessary to cast it on cooldown in my opinion. But in some scenarios you can stack three charges, especially with Fear of Balloon, to uh, boost your astro power to the max if you need it. Yeah, we will start here from New Moon and after this with the first uh, points of artifact power you have to go to the left here as you can see with the line going to Skywrath. Uh, Skywrath Sky will, <laughs> will increase the damage dealt by Lunar Strike and Solar Wrath by 6%. After this you can go uh, up or you can go down. Um, my choice will be to go down here to the Sky of the Stars, increasing the critical strike chance of Star Search by 18%, so 6% per point spent in here. After uh, you've skilled this one, uh, you want to go up and then we will get to the Falling Star talent. Falling Star is a uh, yeah, buff to your AoE damage. It will increase uh, the damage bonus from Stellar Empowerment by 15% per point. So you will deal 45% more damage uh, with your dots when Starfall is active and the uh, enemy with the dots on it will stand in your Starfall. After this we will go to the right and our uh, yeah, target is the Moon and Stars talent, the major talent on the right. So we have to go to the right here and we will take the Light of the Sun, which will reduce the cooldown on your solar beam by 15 seconds when it interrupts the primary target means when you are interrupting the target. So basically if you are good and you will interrupt the target you will just get a solar beam cooldown of 45 se uh, seconds instead of 60 seconds, which is quite nice in Mythic Plus Dungeons. After this we want to go to the right here, to the Touch of the Moon talent. This is just a survivability talent, which will give you the chance to uh, heal instantly for 120k uh, after taking damage. And with each point you will increase the chance by 5%. Uh, this is quite nice in AoE situations in the raid, when you will take uh, sustained AoE damage or sustained damage. And it will uh, yeah, give a slight edge to your healers <laughs> when you are getting some heals out of, you, out of yourself. After this we will take the first major trait, uh, which is uh, the Power of Goldrin. Power of Goldrin is a single target DPS boost um, because it will, or it has a chance to trigger the Spirit of Goldrin, um, which will immediately deal around about 150k damage to the target, which uh, took damage by your Star Search. Uh, I think this talent will give you a DPS boost of 4 to 7 percent, depends on the procs. So it's nice to have and definitely uh, worth it to skill. Yeah in the beginning. After that we will go up and to the right to Dark Side of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon will increase your critical strike chance of Lunar Strike by 5% per point and uh, yeah that's a DPS boost for single target and for multi target because Lunar Strike uh, will do splash damage and it's the way to go tell them to uh, yeah, generate artifact power um, 
when you're doing AoE damage with Starfall. After this, uh, we will hit the two most important talents in the artifact. Uh, these are Twilight Glow and Sunfire Burns. Each of this talent will increase one of your dots by 7% uh, damage per point spent. And uh, you will get, just from the talents, 21% increased damage by every dot uh, when you have skilled these ones. After this, we will go to um, the second major trait called Moon and Stars. Moon and Stars is very important for uh, yeah, the incarnation talent and um, it will give you 1% uh, haste per uh, spell you use during incarnation chosen of a loon or I think 3% uh, with celestial alignment. This is a huge DPS burst um, with Pure of a Loon or with um, dots rolling and uh, or for single target. It's really, really good in every situation and you just want to reach this one. Um, after we got Moon Stars, we will go up to the Empowerment. Empowerment will increase your damage bonus from Luna and Solar Empowerment by 3.3% uh, Per trade means uh, you basically get a 10% boost on your uh, Solar Wrath and Lunar Strike with the Empowerments of Star Search. After this, um, we jump to the left over here and we will take this talent, Sunblind, increase the radius uh, of Sunfire by 5 yards. This is pretty nice in Mythic Plus dungeons or in uh, scenarios where are many ads and they are some kind of spreaded and yeah you don't have to waste two or three uh, globals to get every or to get your sunfire on every target um, and it's just nice to have after this one we will go to the right here to rapid innovation uh, this talent will give you innovate innovate also a uh, 20% haste boost for its duration. This spell can only be casted on a healer, so uh, yeah, it's no DPS boost for, uh, for example, the cane mages, but it's a really nice uh, heal cooldown for the healers, even if they are at uh, full mana and you can time it for raid cooldowns, uh, especially uh, with tranquility or something like that, it's pretty nice. Yeah, and after this, we will go down here to uh, Solar Stabbing, increasing the damage deal by Solar Wrath by 5% per point. So in the end, it's uh, 15%. This is also a really, really nice trade. But yeah, for single target damage, it's insane. But for Fear Balloon or for AoE damage, where you uh, would spend your Astral Power for Starfall, it's not that sick. It's pretty good and it's sad that it's that late in the talent tree but the other talents uh, are more important than this one. After this you will go down here and take Echoing Stars which is just a slight um, AoE damage increase. Uh, it saves each time Starfall deals damage. It also damages another nearby enemy for around about 3k uh, astral damage. This is um, yeah as I said a slight DPS increase to your AoE damage and not uh, as good as Moon and Stars, for example. And Moon and Stars is, uh, yeah, the reason why you, we are going over the right and taking this one and, uh, yeah, then just go down here. Uh, the last three points you have to spend uh, will be this one. Bladed uh, Feathers. Moonkin form increases your armor by an additionally or by an additional 25% per point, means you will get 75% uh, more armor when you have uh, skilled this one. This is just a survivability talent and uh, this is not that good in pve uh, as the other talents, so it's uh, the talent I will skill uh, in the end. Now, uh, as you have maybe seen, we have got uh, four points in the sunfire damage and four points in the moonfire damage and we have also four points in the lunar strike critical uh, chance. This is uh, the case because we got uh, three relic slots. Um, in your artifact you will get uh, three relic slots. Um, in the beginning you will only have two but the third one uh, 
will be unlocked when you have done your class campaign. This relics will increase your item level of the uh, relic by an amount of uh, yeah, 20 to uh, maybe 80 or I don't know, we will see which uh, will be the end. But um, you will start with an item level of uh, 750 and every uh, relic or every artifact relic will increase the item level of your um, artifact by a huge amount and this is really really important for casters and I will show it to you very soon. So these relics have also um, yeah, the nice ability that they are buffing one trait and here this one buffs the damage of Moonfire by an additionally 7%. So yeah, in my opinion the dots are the most important uh, buffs in this artifact weapon and uh, yeah. When you can do it, just uh, improve the damage of your dots with these uh, relics. The second one is a life relic. The first one was an arcane relic. So uh, they are a different kind and you have to uh, look out for these two uh, types of uh, artifact relics. So the, sec the second one will increase uh, Dark Side of the Moon, increasing the critical strike, uh, strike chance by Luna or of Lunar Strike by an additionally 5%. This will give my um, artifact 48 item levels, and the next one will all only get, uh, give me 46 item levels. So it depends on the item level of the uh, relic how uh, much your artifact will be empowered in case of item levels. The third one, uh, as you maybe uh, have seen, will increase the damage of Sunfire by an additional 7%. So um, on the beta I was pretty lucky and I got the empowerments on Sunfire and Moonfire, which is really nice to have. Yeah, um, and as you can see, I will uh, show you here my artifact weapon. The item level is 890 and the item level will increase with uh, the relics and the most important part here is the amount of intellect you will get. Um, I think a gap of 20 item levels means uh, also a gap of uh, more than 2k int. So with spell power gone on your weapons you will get a huge amount of uh, intellect on your artifact weapon. And um, mostly you will go for item level, but when you get uh, some nice traits like me here with uh, Sunfire increased and Moonfire increased, you maybe can ignore uh, the item level pushes here and you will uh, do more damage with it also. This will be a DPS increase uh, even if you are getting a lesser amount of intellect. So. This was um, my artifact guide with the Scatter of Loon for balanced rules and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them below the video. And if you are interested to see me streaming, check out my uh, Twitch channel. And yeah, if you liked the video, uh, I, would in, I would really appreciate uh, when you subscribe to my channel to check out the new videos. I will release a uh, very soonish uh, video of uh, yeah, my balance suit, how to play the balance suit in Legion, uh, what kind of things have changed and what you have to uh, be aware of. So, I hope you liked it and uh, yeah, see you next time. See you guys.